Hello everyone. This video series I'm going to explain the Salesforce Web to Lead concept. In my first two videos, I covered to generating the Web to Lead form using the standard field, custom field, and record types. In this video, I'm going to explain to generating the Web to Lead form using this campaign. Along with, I will show you what are the places we can check the standard Salesforce object and fields information. Let me go to my developer account. Generate your Web to Lead. Before generating the Web to Lead. Let me explain some basic info about the campaigns. So campaign is one of the sales for sales cloud features. So basically the sales people generating the campaign and getting the leads from multiple ways. So one of the ways getting the leads using this web to lead HTML. So they generated the web to lead HTML and they place it in their company website. So once the customer interested about their product or about the service, then customer entered information getting populated in the Salesforce lead object and mapping in this campaign. Let me show you the object model. For that, go to Google and search Salesforce object model and click the data model. From there, we can see the ERD diagram for the Salesforce standard object. I will show you. See here, so all the object related to sales object, task and event object, support object, everything available. So you can check all the ERD diagrams. Let me check the sales object ERD diagram. If you see here, the campaign, campaign member, and lead and conduct. So basically this campaign, once we created the campaign, so we can generate here leads, leads getting created in the lead object and uh, under the campaign member object, it's get populated the lead ID and then campaign ID. So basically this campaign member is linking with conduct and lead, right? Okay. Let me go to generate a web to lead. For that, go to the web to lead. Use this create web to lead form. From the available fields, select campaign campaign member status, written URL and specifying for google.com. I'm skipping this part. I will explain in the next video. And generate I, I got the HTML I'm copy and paste it in my editor saved as a web slash campaign dot HTML file if you notice the action URL for web to dot salesforce.com the user entered the input is posted in this particular form and this is the OID for my salesforce account ID and the fields if you noticed here the campaign it's coming as a drop down the id as a campaign underscore id this api name is very important this option this option everything is getting populated as per my campaign if i go to my campaign tab so these all are the campaign basically it's getting populated as a drop down with along with values as a the 15 digit id of this particular record right Okay, let me open in my browser. So basically, uh, once it's generated as a web tool, uh, web to lead HTML, and then they place it their company website to get the leads from the customers. So here I'm entering my name. So here the campaign I am selecting this April 2020 I submitted right it's getting posted and returning back the google.com which I am specifying the hidden field as a written URL right 
let me go to my lead tab leads gets created let me click this particular lead so leads it's created along with the campaign see if you notice this campaign history the april 2020 it's linked with this particular lead right if i'm clicking this campaign so basically this is the campaign under the campaign have the related objects called campaign members so the campaign members is linked with the leads so as i mentioned the campaign members can link with leads and contacts see that that leads gets linked with this campaign member for this particular campaign as april 2020 even manually we can add the leads also contacts right so far another use case instead of selecting the campaign from the drop down so we can set the specific campaign also so for that i will show you i will hide this drop down and i'm trying to introducing one hidden field in my html the type as hidden the url the name as a name the campaign underscore id now i am specifying that campaign id as a 15 digit id for whenever getting creating the leads basically i want to map this particular campaign for in that case i'm just copy and paste it in the value section for this hidden field now let me go to open in my browser I am entering first name, last name. I am submitting this form. Let me go to my leads tab. new leads get created and it's linked with that dm campaign to top customers right yeah let me show you that schema structure for the object model from the schema builder so for that go to the setup from quick find type schema builder click the schema builder from the left panel From this object menu, here you can select the standard object and custom objects and even system objects. So basically these are the system objects. Okay, let me go to select the standard object. From the quick find, I will search campaign, campaign member and lead conduct right. so 
so if you noticed here the campaign is a main object and campaign member is basically a junction object between contact and lead so basically the campaign member getting the lead information or contact information with campaign id right so here using the schema builder we can check that object model even you can check google type salesforce campaign object fields click this campaign fields from where here we can check all the field information related to the specific object level so for this salesforce article it's list out all the standard objects from there we can check all the field information with the relevant data types for these fields and all see here it's list out all the campaign related fields the campaign member fields everything available even developer console also you can check let me go to my developer console for that the gear i can click the developer console from file select open or use the control o as a shortcut under the objects here it's list out all the standard and custom objects here type which particular object you want so select and double click it's getting op open and it's list out all the fields information with the relevant data type even you can query it you can select the fields and click the query it's the query get populated and execute so and take this use tooling api execute so the results get populated here right fine that's all about this video thank you we'll see you in the next video